Welcome to the channel. Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Man, oh man, this Shohei Otani story is crazy. When news broke that Shohei Otani's interpreter had been accused of stealing 4.5 million from Otani to pay down gambling debts with a California bookie, it was one of the wildest stories of the year, overshadowing March Madness, MLB Spring Training, and even the NBA playoff push. As we know, the Dodgers fired Otani's interpreter and close friend after the player's attorneys alleged massive theft from the Japanese baseball star in a case tied to sports gambling. This could be bigger than Pete Rose. This is massive. My question is this. What the hell is the interpreter doing with access to Otani's finances? See, something doesn't add up. Something isn't right with this. This is fishy. A massive death, as described, would lend one to believe that Otani's interpreter hacked Otani's bank accounts and illegally transferred himself $4.5 million. The narrative continues to evolve and more and more will come out in the coming days. I mean, this story will continue to drag on. I don't have all the facts, so I want to be careful what I say and I don't want to be misconstrued or my thoughts to be taken out of context. So I will be careful what I say. There are several things twists to this story. Tisha, Tisha Thompson, ESPN's investigative reporter who has been all over this story, spoke with Otani's representatives who told her it was the interpreter betting on sports and Otani transferring the money to cover his losses. The interpreter told ESPN that he started placing bets on credit with a man named Matthew Boyer after meeting with him at a San Diego poker game in 2021 and his losses reached 1 million by the end of 2022 and exploded from there. It is reasonable to believe this guy did all of this behind Otani's back. It is anyone's guess what really happened at this point. We really don't know. We don't have enough information. I don't know. I can't tell you what happened. Is the interpreter the fall guy? I mean, I can't really tell you. Stories like these are complicated, especially when they're fresh and it has recently surfaced, so we don't know much. Through a series of questions, that Thompson asked the interpreter during a phone call, he says Otani never knew the gambling debts and that Otani didn't make the payments. So then how did those payments get made if Otani didn't make the payments? Somebody had to make somebody had to make the payment. See, something isn't right here. And as a baseball fan, you're wondering, at the end of the day, it comes down to rather or not Otani had anything to do with this whatsoever because it would it would involve gambling in baseball and that could mean trouble for the Dodgers. And again, we don't have all the facts yet, but the facts we do have make it seem like there's something fishy with Shohei Otani and this gamble this gambling story. And if he's the one that was gambling and, and I and I hope, I hope that wasn't the case. I hope he had nothing to do with this. But I'm just saying, if he was involved, this would jeopardize his career. This would sadly tarnish his legacy. And I really, I really hope he had nothing to do with this. I just find that hard to believe. But you never know. You never know. People have double lives. You never know what people are doing off the field or behind closed doors. We just never know. But I know this. This would shock the hell out of me if he gambled 
on baseball and if he gambled illegally. This story is nuanced, confusing, very convoluted. At this point, nobody has enough information to really say what happened, but something got in over their, their head, gambling. Something got in over their interpreter's head, gambling. I'm not sure how this could happen. There are several questions that need answering surrounding the reports in the Otani gambling story. Like, is he involved or is he the victim? You know, I think as, as fans and the Dodgers as an organization would like to know more as well. MLB is monitoring the situation and plans to gather facts amid the scandal to determine whether Otani played any role. And you know, Otani has a great relationship. He had a great relationship with this guy. They were close friends. So when you're the interpreter, you go everywhere the team goes. You go to dinner with him. You know, you if you're in another country, you tour the city with him. You're that guy that stays with him, right? But I, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's just like something is not right with this, you know? And I, I just hope he didn't play any role. I really hope he didn't play any role. And that's not to, su to, to suggest MLB believe he was involved, but they are investigating this matter. Some, somewhere there is truth. I don't know. This story could spiral out of control. If, if, if it comes out that this guy was taking inside information and betting against Otani, this could be bigger than Pete Rose. It could be become a major scandal in sports if this interpreter was taking inside information and betting against Otani. Like, for example, like if they played uh, the Yankees or something like that and he knew Otani was hurt, he had the flu or something, he was sick, he was out with an injury, you know, he would bet against him, right? Now, again, we don't know that. It's hard to say anything when we really don't know. We, we, don't, we don't have any idea what the nature of the bets were. We don't know what really happened. I just wonder how the interpreter got access to the money. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm wondering. Like, how? Maybe the interpreter needed to buy things for, for Shohei? I don't know. And I'm guessing... All of this happened with the Angels. If you have an interpreter with full access to the clubhouse and, and, and your bank account, the potential for this to be a disaster is likely. This is, is a lot to take in. It, it's a story we will follow. I mean, you got mainstream media members who don't cover baseball following this story. I mean, that's how big of a scandal it is. You know, and it's just crazy. But the interpreter had a great relationship with Shohei Otani. And who knows? Maybe Otani, I don't know. I really don't know. Did he pay? Uh, did he pay his debts? Did he give him that money? Did he let him borrow that money to pay off his debts? I don't know. You know, um, Otani seems like a guy that's genuine and that would do something like that to look out for a friend. But I don't know, it's, it's something that's weird about this whole thing. I, I really can't tell you. I mean, I guess we will know more in the coming days, in the coming weeks, you know, as time goes on. But the big hope is that Otani had nothing to do with this. And you better hope he didn't. Because if he did, man, I don't know. I don't know if we could... I don't know if we will have that same that that same feeling about him. I don't know if we will ever look at him as the face of baseball ever again. I mean, I don't know. There will be consequences. Will he be suspended? Would he have to serve a lengthy suspension? You don't want to see uh, your best product not on the field, but it could come down to where he's levy. Uh, uh, a punishment and where he's missing a lot of time because of this. I mean, I just don't know, but I guess we will know more as time goes, but man, this whole thing is crazy. When I first heard it, I was like, what, what is going on, man? This is crazy.
This is crazy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. We'll talk very soon. Peace.